Hey what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today guys we have episode number 5 of our Cardiff City career mode in FIFA 19. Today we're going to be kicking it off a with a game against Burnley at home. Um, we haven't had a great start to the season in my opinion, but hopefully this episode we will um, push on and uh, hopefully get some better results, which um, there's a lot of games in this uh, episode, so hopefully um, you'll enjoy the content because I've got quite a lot of it, like I said. Uh, I've tried to keep like more highlights instead, uh, more extended highlights than just the um, just the goals and like normal highlights because I think it would be better to uh, try and provide more highlights, I guess. So before I start getting involved and in talking in uh, involved with the gameplay and stuff like that, if you could drop a like on the video, that'd be a much appreciated. Uh, comment down below your thoughts on the video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you are new. So turn that post uh, bell notification uh, little thingy on to get notified when I upload because obviously sometimes videos don't uh, go into sub boxes properly but anyway thanks for the support so uh, so far on the channel recently especially with this career mode uh, it gets over 100 views every episode which is far beyond my uh, expectations in terms of my channel size but we're closing on 200 subs as well but anyway moving on into the gameplay like I said I tried to keep extended highlights in this episode um, just to test out and see if people enjoy this like these type of videos instead of me just putting the goals in and then the old chance but um, anyway so far we've dominated this game so far from just watching the highlights as I'm talking uh, we get the ball of Loftus-Cheek here plays it into Hariata into Origi turns him unlucky there and then somehow Loftus-Cheek ends up volleying it and it bounces off two defenders and goes out we get a corner here uh, Origi front post completely misses the header Loftus-Cheek tries to shoot from far uh, go straight into the keeper's hands. Uh, easy save for the keeper. Lennon whips the ball in. Dangerous back post uh, cross there. Uh, the right back Patterson had to clear it out. Otherwise, that winger would have definitely, well, he most likely would have got the, got a chance on goal. Uh, poor delivery from the corner there, and then we couldn't get the ball out there with Hoylet, and it just bounces everywhere. But Pat, uh, Morrison, the centre back there, clears the ball out, and we uh, move on into a counter attack here. Hoylet down the line. I was like, goal easy. And he scuffed it. All I did was just press circle, hold L2 uh, to go across the goal with a power shot, and he does that. Yeah, early in the second half here, they have a wild shot there, which goes completely wide, uh, which is um, <laughs> good for us because they, they were starting to make chances in the second half. Lennon, Lennon especially, he was very good on the wing for them. Uh, they uh, hit the post there with a, a header from uh, Damari Gray. Now, normally I don't show you when I make my subs, but unless I do it uh, with the R2 in game. But I decided to bring Mendes Lang on uh, and Bobby Reed in cam behind Origi, taking off Loftus Cheek as well. And then I think I brought Ampadu on as well, uh, as well. But they're here. This is such poor defending from Morrison and Bamba, the two centre backs, because they just allowed Vidra to get in and goal there. Like, look how much space. Oh, yeah, I skipped it, but. He had way too much space there, uh, which is really frustrating. Uh, Mendes Lang, fresh on the pitch, runs down the wing, whips the ball, oh no, lays it back to Origi. First time shot, I was like, okay, he'll go for the far corner, straight at the keeper. I was just like, what are you doing? Anyway, Narsing, nice ball in, good clearance from the uh, centre back there. Get the ball again, Ampadu turns the defender, plays into Origi, Origi one touch, and it's a goal. What a goal from Origi there late on in this game. Uh, fully deserved the goal. Uh, in terms of the amount of chances we created this game. Our finishing was poor, but Origi, nice play from Ampadu and Hariata as well. I think that was uh, to get the um, ball into him. Ariata here is <laughs> unlucky there, actually, uh, with the defender blocking that. It goes for a corner, tries to whip it in front post, but it ends up going to the back post. Nice header there, but unfortunately we couldn't direct it towards goal. But it did deflect off the defender. We get another chance here. <laughs> I think that was... Um, who was that? Was that... Bam. No, it was Origi going for a bicey there, front post. Uh, and then we get the ball again. Flicks it back post. What a save from Heaton. Because uh, Bamba would have been there back post. But that is the end of that game. We do uh, draw one all. We move on to a much tougher game. Or expected to be a much tougher game against Spurs away from home as well. So this is going to be a real hard game. I don't know where they were in the position. Like t in the standings before this game. But it, it Spurs are away from home. So you always... Uh, expect to 
have a real battle in this game. So we start off pretty um, lively here. Harry Arter goes for a bicey front post from the corner. Nothing happening there. Narsing plays a nice free ball to the loftus cheek. Over to Hoylet. Hoylet drills it first time, hits the post and goes in. You could say we got a bit lucky, but I reckon that's just a good finish. Uh, coolly done. First time finish across goal. Uh, lovely play from loftus cheek over to him. Great finish from Hoylet. He's really surprised me. Obviously for his age, he's very, very good. Still very quick, which, uh, like I said, it's quite surprising, even though he's aging. But anyway, Origi picks up the ball. And he... Uh, I d honestly, I don't know why I, d I tried it from there, even though like he had so much space to run into. But I went for it, and uh, that's probably one of our goals of the season so far, in terms of uh, the goals we've scored. Because look at that. Mm, questionable the keeper, maybe. Probably wasn't expecting it. Didn't really see it that well, but... We, go, we take a surprising 2-0 lead. I was not expecting to be leading Spurs 2-0. Harry Kane here. Poor delivery into the box. Uh, we get it clear. Ends up to Origi. Loftus-Cheek now. Back to Origi. What's he going to do with it here? It plays a nice through ball into Loftus-Cheek. Great touch there from Loftus-Cheek. I was going to go cross goal and then I thought I messed it up. But then somehow he's just drilled it into the top corner there. Uh, I keep doing this old man celebration as well, which is really annoying because I just spam the buttons and it always ends up with that celebration. Uh, so I don't even know why. Uh, but anyway, moving on. 3 0. I don't know how this has happened. After the draw in with Burnley 1 1, we go to beating Spurs 3 0 in the 80th minute. But I mean, I'm not going to complain because this is going to be a really good victory if it does stay like this, which it should. Anyway, nice uh, counter attack and play once again. Narsing over to Loftus Cheek. He drills it across. Good save. Hoylet takes uh, takes um, full advantage of the rebound from the keeper and uh, taps it into an empty net into the top corner. Now that's two for Hoylet, I think, this game. Yeah, he scored. Yeah, he scored the first goal and he scored that one. Um, nice play from everyone there. And I took him off to give him a rest for the next game. Uh, four 0 up. You, you think that's it? No, no, no. Not not just yet, lads. Narsing. Nice uh, play here. Uh, goes for a shot, great save from the keeper. It's going out for a corner. Um, we will take that in the 89th minute. Could I have just kept it in the corner? Yeah, but I went for another goal because look, boom, who's there? Big man, Divock Origi. Uh, really nice header into the goal, shush in the crowd. And um, yeah, 5 0 against Spurs. I just, away from home as well. And especially after the poor kind of form we've been on. And they put this down as of a Tongan own goal. It's literally on target, about to go in the net, and it's just bounced off a of Tongan's head. But they still wouldn't give it to him, which is a joke. But really good 5 0 win there against Spurs. But now we go back home and we're playing against Fulham, uh, who I think are in a similar situation to us, like floating around that, like, I don't know, 11th to like 18th like gap, you know, like 15, 14, 18, whatever. Anyway. They start off uh, with uh, a decent through ball here into Vieto, I think that is the striker. Yeah, Vieto. Uh, he plays a nice ball in eventually when he takes his time. Uh, good clearance from Morrison. Uh, we get the ball clear to Narsing. Plays a nice ball to Origi. He plays it back to him. Or he tries to, and then he does play it back to him. Um, great touch from Narsing to get it uh, ahead of himself there. Lays it across the Hoylet. Um, he was running the other way, which I was quite worried about because he nearly went the other way. So yeah, kind of a bit worrying there, but anyway, we will move on into the next part of this game, which was a very nice game, to be honest. Um, here, they uh, got a corner here, because it's a great tackle from Bamba, crunched in there. I think this is Siri on the, yeah, Siri on the corner, plays it short, whips it in, good punt from the keeper there, um, to get the threat away. They do get the ball back up towards our half, though. Siri tries to play a pass, gets tackled twice. And then we move on into the 22nd minute. Nice ball from Vieto to the winger, who takes a great strike, but that goes wildly over. But it's a really good strike uh, on the ball. Uh, we get a chance here. It was a poor cross, to be fair, from Patterson. Uh, the keeper goes to throw it out, and he... I don't know what happened there. The centre-back messed it up, and we go for the chip with Arigi, but it's unfortunate because it, it just went over, just went over. Anyway, 31st minute here. Lost the sheet to Arta into Narsing. Plays the ball. It's just bouncing everywhere, and then boom. What a goal. Um, we just had Origi score probably our goal of the season, and then the sheet scores that. Goes straight up there with his. What a goal, especially on the volley as well. And it just, look, watch this. It just, you can't get any more top corner than that. Look at that. Oh, my days. What a goal from the cheek He's been a real good signing for us so far, and so is this man, uh, Narsing. He's been quality for us on the ball. But anyway, 
we get a chance here. Origi, decent save from the keeper. Not really troubling him that much. Uh, anyway, we move on into like the minute, just a minute before half time. Good ball in there. Vieto, quite wild, like, quite wildish um, attempt at goal there. But um, nevertheless, we move on into the second half here. Driving forward with Manasing, plays it across to the centre mid, and what a goal that would have been. Honestly, if that went in, we would have scored about three or four decent goals this game, uh, this episode. Uh, but it didn't, unfortunately. They get a chance here with a header. Good save from uh, the young keeper there. Uh, we pick up the ball with Harriata. Plays it into Loftus-Cheek to Origi. One touch. Finish. What a save from Fabrizio, the goalkeeper. Unreal save. I thought that was going in top corner as well. But unfortunately, it was not going to happen there. Uh, we get a chance from the corner. Not Nothing really happening there. And Patterson, I... I just don't know if that's deemed a red card. Oh, obviously, it's a yellow card, then a red. But it's just such a soft foul, in my opinion. You don't get to see the replay. But he gets a red card, so he'll miss the next game, which I don't know who is against. I can't remember. Anyway, uh, their free kick was shocking. Uh, we got a chance here with Hoylet. Cuts inside. Lays it across to Loftus-Cheek. Nice little back heel to... Uh, Ampadu takes the shot on, but uh, unfortunately the shot does get blocked. Um, we then whip the ball in with Hoylet. The keeper was coming out there, and then he stopped. And then Tom Kearney, I don't know why he did that. He nearly scored an own goal from like the edge of his box with a header. Looped the keeper, but um, we were unable to capitalise on that. Ampadu gets the ball, plays into Cheek. Cheek into Ampadu, tries to like guide it into the top, cor top corner, but unfortunately he uh, skied it. Anyway... They're breaking in Vieto here. Um, I think that's just strength there, to be honest, from Morrison, which is rather annoying. I rested Bamba. I brought on the youngster because I thought, you know what? I need a bit of like stamina and like pace at the back. And wow, what a goal! What a goal from Tom Kearney. He's unreal. I, I honestly, I used I used him in my um, stream career mode with Fulham, and he scored some quality goals for me. That was quite worrying though because. 77 minutes and we're, we're obviously a man down and uh, it's 2-1 now so it's kind of a bit, like I said, a bit worrying but we give away a stupid free kick there, it deserved the yellow card from Morrison because I shouldn't have done that, it's such a bad foul. Anyway, dinks the ball in, Kearney lays it down to the uh, midfielder, good save from the keeper in the bottom corner. Uh, they're pushing on real hard here now because uh, obviously last minutes of the game they're trying to get a point here, cuts it across, that could have been a penalty there. Uh, what a save from Jarofsky. Really, really good save. Tipping it over the crossbar in the 87th minute. Decore got a uh, yellow card there, which is kind of annoying because he's only just come on. Uh, ball whipped in. Oh, we got so lucky here with that flick on from Tom Kearney. I think that was, or is this Tom Kearney? I don't know who that was who uh, flicked it on. We got very lucky there because uh, the bat post guy did just miss the ball. But anyway, we win that game. Very happy with that result. Apart from the red card. But now we move on to Liverpool away from home. So this game was very, very frustrating to play. Um, at times we were very bright. But, you know, it's Liverpool. Like, trying to play against Liverpool on career mode ultimate difficulty. They just ping the ball around. One touch passing. Just so much. It's so frustrating to play against. But anyway, free kick here for Liverpool. Firmino, poor delivery. We get the ball out. Um... And then they, they actually get the ball back straight away. We do manage to tackle them and get the ball back. Nice ball into Origi, playing against his former club. Loftus-Cheek plays a nice ball to Narsing. He's now one-on-one. -on -one. Can he hold his nerve? Yes, he can. Great finish into the bottom corner in the eighth minute. Uh, really, really well played. Um, questionable celebration. They just knee slide on like the gravel into the barrier. But then obviously they're celebrating the fans. So, yeah, not really uh, bothered about that. But anyway, great goal. Great start for us in the ninth minute. Um, you'd expect, you'd think like after the Spurs result, going up 1-0 against Liverpool early on would would like push us on. Um, well, yeah, let's just let's just say it, it didn't. Anyway, Origi there, I was a bit, a bit ambitious there with the volley, uh, trying something. Terrible pass out from the back. Salah gets the ball. Uh, really good tackle from Morrison, by the way. Otherwise, Salah probably would have scored that. Uh, Fabinho is on at the corner, whips it in. I think that's uh, Firmino trying to flick it on. We can't get the ball out properly. Comes back out to Moreno. We clear it again. Back to Moreno. Nice fake shot. Good save from the keeper. And it's now another corner. Uh, again for Liverpool. Salah, short one. Mane whips it in. Eventually, I think. <laughs> Taking his time here. 
Okay, yeah, he just he just duped me out of the skill. Plays it back in. Mane whips it in. Joe Gomez is there off the post in the top corner. Keeper could not do anything about that. And it's 1 1 now, so yeah, kind of frustrating, but what can you do? Anyway, Loftus Cheek here. Plays a nice ball to Origi, and I thought that was in. I thought it was going top corner, and he, he was going to be destined to celebrate against his former club, but not to be. Anyway, Mane somehow gets away from that tackle. If it changed player quick enough, I would have headed that ball out, but it took so long to change the Bamba, and Firmino just headed that into the top corner. Unbelievable header. Uh, like, same again, Keeper could not do anything about that. Second half now, Firmino gets the ball back from Fabinho, cuts inside, plays it back to him. First time, what a save from the keeper. He's really impressing me so far in this career mode. Obviously, he's very young, uh, so obviously he's not very experienced, but he is doing a good job for us. Um, but anyway, Narsing gets a chance here to run down the line, cuts inside, tries to play a ball to Origi. He does. Origi hits the post. How is he missing that? He should be scoring that from that range. Anyway... Moving on, Liverpool, look at this passing, it's just so quick, I just couldn't do anything about it. I snapped Firmino, but he scored anyway, so it didn't count as like a penalty. So, that's 3-1, very frustrating. Firmino is now on a hat-trick, I do believe. He scored two of them. Uh, and then, um, yeah, we brought on Tomlin, he plays a nice ball into Loftus-Cheek. What a block by Van Dijk. I don't think Loftus-Cheek's shot was going in anyway, but yeah, good block from him. We get a corner, uh, Alisson punches it away. We get the ball here with our centre mids. Harry Arter gets the ball um, into Loftus Cheek now. Cuts back inside. Nice ball over to Tomlin. Tomlin to Harry Arter. It was written in the stars for him to score. Top corner, but no, he didn't. Anyway, Firmino. I just don't get how I didn't tackle him at any point of that run he made. And then he does that. That is unsavable. Outside the foot, and he's just dinked it. Like, finesse dinked in a way. Top bins. Ah. Oh, I don't even know what to say about that. Good hat trick from Firmino. We've absolutely been battered this game by Liverpool 4 1. Uh, and that is the full time whistle there. So, unfortunately, that is the last of the gameplay. But we picked up a training injury. Five weeks, uh, Camarasa is out for our centre mid. So, we ended up going in and changing him for, uh, I believe, uh, Rouse. Anyway. While you, while you see me doing that, this is the end of the episode. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like on the video. The support has been mad so far. Obviously, I asked for 10 likes. That's not really much, but I've been hitting it every time or over. So, yeah, thank you guys for the support so far on the video. I, like I said, I do really appreciate the support and the nice comments that I do get. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Post notifications on, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.